week, it's been. <laughs> David Cameron's gone to war with Europe over the number of immigrants coming to Britain. Yes. <laughs> it's getting nasty between Britain and the rest of Europe. It's just the other day, I heard Patisserie Valerie suck her teeth at Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Cameron says he's not answerable to Europe, and us lot, the British people, are his boss. Yeah, we are, aren't we? <laughs> and if that's the case, coffee, two sugars, please, toots. <laughs> and once you've done that, pop yourself a mill up for some dictation. Go <laughs> <laughs> oh, David. Off you go. Oh. <laughs> and I don't get these people who say multiculturalism can't work. Do you? No. Four words for you. Iceland chicken tikka lasagna. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> On the X Factor, Chloe Jasmine was voted off from the 80s theme show. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it, can you? <laughs> oh, it's so shocking. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up, shut up. <laughs> oh, you could tell it was 80s night, couldn't you? Simon had backcombed the hairs on his hands. Did you see? That? <laughs> I mean, isn't it incredible? Even on an 80s theme night, Simon's stonewashed boot cut jeans still look dated. <laughs> <laughs> why Simon being so nasty to Louis all the time? Why? Why do, why do you reckon? If Louis was in an IT and Simon was his carer, you'd call the social services, wouldn't you? <laughs> 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 Poor Chloe. I don't think being that posh helped you. No, there were so many silver spoons in her mouth. When she sang Fame, it sounded like someone had started the dishwasher. <laughs> and finally, rumours are rife that Rennie Zellweger, I guess, had the mother of all cosmetic surgeries. Did you see the pictures? Yes! The first thing I thought was, oh, Mickey Rourke's done something new with his hair. <laughs> If that face was any more frozen, Peter Andre would be trying to flog it for Iceland. <laughs> James. <laughs> what a lineup we have for you tonight. She sang, We are never, ever, ever getting back together. But her lawyers talk to my lawyers. And for the sakes of our kids, we're going to give it another go. Yes, <laughs> the amazing Taylor Swift will be chatting and performing later. I'll be talking to the Cold Feet star who was putting roses on his bum before Cheryl was even out of nappies. That's right, the brilliant James Nesbitt's in the house. <laughs> but first, wave your kilts in the air like you just don't care for the greatest thing to have come out of Glasgow since Gordon Ramsay's gravy. It's Kevin Bridges! <laughs> How's it going, Alan? I saw you having a bit of a limp, or was you taking That's the right. piss out my mince? I've got a bit of a limp. <laughs> uh, I've torn a ligament. Sunday morning, playing five sides, and I was lying there, and my mates are trying to just tell me to play on. And I'm shouting, I've got Chatty Man this week. Yeah. Probably the only time that's ever been shouted on a five a side pitch. <laughs> <in my life. laughs> but I'm here. Anyway, it's four socks and well, I'm, I'm here. I'm glad you came. My God. Now, listen, uh, do you want a cheeky Jaeger bomb to wash down the painkillers or. Do you <laughs> no. <laughs> so you, don't have to get... you, you don't have to. You don't have to, because if you're ill, do you want just like a water or something? What soft drinks have you got? Oh, apple ties. Have an apple tie. Have an apple tie. Yeah. I had. Um, my God, because I was so ill last week. I did it on codeine, yeah, and I was drinking on codeine with tequila on the show. My God, <laughs> have you seen that bit in Wolf of Wall Street with Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> I was like, it may help me! <laughs> I'm the last guess, I'm like, may <laughs> that help! <laughs> well, I'm glad you're having an apple tie. I've got to take it Thank easy. Anyway. Right, that's enough. That just looks like a urine sample. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <you>. <laughs> Oh, At least it's cold, mate. <laughs> lovely. Yeah, we'll lovely. Here. Nice oh. to see you. Well, we've got to talk about your new book. Yes. We have, it's your yes. life story. Have you read it? Yeah, I genuinely have read it. <laughs> people, whenever anyone's got a book on here, they go, have you read it? And I don't know whether it's because they think I've got a busy lifestyle or that I can't read. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> have you read it? 
because I was worried when I picked it up, because you must have read some Irvin Welsh. Yes. My God, and I thought, if he's written it like, I can marry <laughs> all the way through. But no, it's in, like... English. English. Taped up. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's bits of English. There's a, there's a bit of local in there as well. Like, you, when you've got, you get send the book through to the publishers, they yeah. come back with a person called a copy editor and they correct everything. And there's been a lot of corrections, like having to explain certain words. Like, there's a character called <laughs> Frank the Wank. <laughs> <laughs> and they were asking, should that be Frank the Wanker? <laughs> but in Scotland, wank is it's a noun rather than a verb. It's oh. not an action. Like, obviously, you can have a wank, but you refer to somebody as... A wank. Yeah. And you don't add the ER. So I had this, this is the conversation I had on the phone to yeah. some Oxford graduate <laughs> penguin copy editor that wank yeah. is, is a noun. Frank yeah. the wank. Well, if ever that woman from Dictionary Corner resigns, <laughs> you are <laughs> chewing. <laughs> I've got wank. <laughs> now, what was it like going back to you? Was it a good experience? Was it cathartic? Did you find anything new about yourself? Was it um, like, you know? I, it's quite therapeutic when you go back writing about childhood, because I was quite a warrior. I used to have, like, anxiety issues as a child. My, one of my first memories was ransacking a Wendy house <laughs> in the nursery. My mum had dropped me off, and I was enjoying it. I, I crawled into the Wendy house. I was playing with the rest of the kids. Then, from the Wendy house window, I seen my mum leaving, and alarm bells were ringing. I thought, that's not what I signed up for here. Yeah. You're staying <laughs> in the nursery. <laughs> And I stood up, but obviously I'm taller than... Well, I was taller... Even then, I was taller than a Wendy house. Yeah. I stood up... <laughs> I should hope so. And <laughs> I lifted it from its foundations mm. with three or four other toddlers in, <laughs> and I made a run across the nursery. <laughs> so I'm running. You can just yeah. see my feet on the Wendy house yeah. here. <laughs> and the rest of the kids are hysterical. They're getting smacked in the head and screaming. Yeah. So I, I established myself as a bit mental, which is handy on the first day in jail, but yeah. this was nursery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I get a celebrity or biography out, I always look at the index share to see if I get a mention, but there's no index, is there? No. So I genuinely did read it looking for my name. I think <laughs> I mention. I remember the first time I One met you. One mention. How long have we gone back as mates? But I only took it to a certain point, though. I've only right, taken then. it to 2000. <laughs> <laughs> I've only taken it to 2010. And then okay. that was before we, we met briefly in the comedy store. Yes. I was the open spot, the new guy. You were well on the way to being oh, the TV superstar uh, we well, see well, today. Well, that is, he's got a point. Was, I remember. I remember you were very friendly. So. Well, do you know what? When I was reading the book and stuff, and people don't, you know, people don't realise how terrifying it is going into uh, the stand-up and stuff. Yeah. But... People being nice to you is just... It makes it so much better, cos it's so hard, isn't it? You know, and I, you, you said that as well, you know, and when you come down to London, some of the London clubs are a bit like, oh, so who... Where have you played and stuff? Yeah. Sometimes you need that not someone to be nice to you. Don't you? It's like, great. You, yeah. it's even still today, it still helps if somebody's laughed at you. They take time to come and speak yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. I had the guy ask if he could get a onesie with me. <laughs> An old guy, about 60. I think he meant a <laughs> selfie. <Yeah. laughs> Up for it. I'll happily get a onesie. Me and you, mate, climb into a pair of pyjamas. <laughs> walk down the street like a big pantomime cow. I was up for it, but that, that makes it... It's true. Well, so, I, and right, right through high school, yeah. I discovered you could either be a good fighter, a good footballer, a hit with the ladies. I was none of that, none of the above. But I discovered I could be quite funny, yeah. and I eventually focused on that more than yeah. anything. And then that was my sole priority. I, I would rather make the whole class laugh than yeah. pass the class which culminated in me being expelled. Well, advised to leave, strongly advised to leave. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what I like about it is, cos I'm reading, obviously, you're ten years younger than me, well, what's going on in the book, but just you do the same things and, like, you know, vagina, which you play, you know, cos we played ball bag at school. Now, do you yeah. remember that? You'd have, like, a teacher and you'd go, <laughs> ball bag. <laughs> You'd have to say it louder, wouldn't you? So I'd go, I'd go, ball bag. And I would go, ball bag. I'd go, ball bag. And then it would get to the point you're screaming, everything on you, eyes bulging, <laughs> screaming, ball bag, like yeah. psycho. There'd always be one person who'd just yeah. go too far, go, ball bag! <laughs> 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 Why would you be that one? It was always worth it. Like, yeah. He would get into trouble, probably suspended, but he'd yeah. be a fucking legend. <laughs> yeah. And that was worth it for that. And prank phone calls as well, you know, I love that. Can I speak to Paul Mycock and all that? Uh, <laughs> 
What a childhood mischief. We used to, that, that goes back to Frank, Frank the Wank. He was a chip shop owner. And me and Frank the Wank developed... Fra I don't think Frank the Wank knows that's his name. Frank Francis, probably. Is. I'd imagine he's in some sort of correctional facility these days, so it's cool. <laughs> we developed a Bart Simpson, Mo Sislak relationship. So I'd phone him up. But what made him so funny was his temper was so short, frighteningly short. He would yeah. lose the plot at the most trivial of complaints. So I'd phone yeah. up pretending to be an adult. I'd, there was one I phoned up. I said, now, listen, I'm a, I'm a taxi driver. I was in my cab there and I popped in to get my lunch and uh, I got the chips back to the cab and they were freezing cold. <laughs> and that was all it took for Frank the Wank to start screaming, well, you should have, you should have fucking said something at the time then. Come down to the shop, hiding behind the phone, you think you're a hard man. <laughs> and, and that, was, that was his customer service skills. That was how he talked to the customer who yeah. cold chips. <laughs> and he, he once threatened to, he's, he was quite poetic in his yeah. abuse. He mastered abuse. Yeah. He, he threatened to rip my spine out and poke my arsehole with it. That was... <laughs> <laughs> You're 15, you've got an old BT cell net phone, yeah. phone up. You're burning top up cards on this guy. Yeah. So, we phone, that was the, the taxi call. He's going, I'll come down to the shop and say something. And I had a sort of a master stroke. I thought, all right, well, I will come down to the shop then. I'll be outside in five minutes. We'll fucking settle this. Look, man, giving him a bit of Frank the Wank talk back. Yeah. So, I told him I'm on the way, look for a black taxi. Five minutes, I'll be outside, hung up the phone. Then I phoned a local cab company. <laughs> and then. Um, Hi, taxi, please. Yeah. Uh, it's going to Frank's. Mm. Uh, from Frank's, going yeah. and the, that was that. A couple of minutes later, but when you, that's something that yeah gets set up. I immediately go back to the anxious child because I was nervous. My mates were loving it. Yeah, like I've almost set up a Tarantino movie scene. Yeah, when he yeah. beat this guy to a pulp, an innocent cabby, <laughs> and my heart's racing. I'm, I'm ready to phone back. And they're they're grabbing yeah. the phone now. You're not cancelling. Oh no. It. <laughs> and then, then it all kicked. The the, the taxi showed up. Yeah. Toots the horn, but what made it tragic was the taxi driver done a wee sort of playful toot. He was just a nice guy. And, and it, it didn't sound like the sound there, a man down to settle a score. Yeah, it was yeah. a wee. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and Frank the Wank and four of his fellow Wanks emerged and um, they just spoke for ages. <laughs> and I'm sitting, my heart's racing, and it, it got resolved somehow. There was no oh. violence. They went back into the shop. Then I felt confident again. I phoned Frank the Wank and <laughs> called him a shite bag. <laughs> and <that was> like, <laughs> Well, so. you haven't seen him for 15 years, but he's here tonight. <laughs> 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 you, just, you need to change a few names. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. I genuinely took a wee look there. You never know. No, no, don't be a man. <laughs> don't try Frank the I Wang. Don't I just Google, Google Frank. No, don't giggle Frank the Wang. No, 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 no. <laughs> Make sure you delete your browsing history <laughs> if you giggle Frank the Wang. Now, you're going off on tour again next yes. year. How many nights are you play in Glasgow? Fourteen. Fourteen nights in Glasgow. That's... Fourteen. Did you... Yeah. And here. And I'm playing here. Yeah, I know <laughs> you're playing here, but I just... Yeah. I'm just saying, when you, you read the book and then I see that you're playing Fourteen Nights in Glasgow, I mean, it just must be like a dream come true. Uh, it's good. It fourteen nights in your own bed is a dream come true yeah. on any tour. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. good. And last time I saw you was a few months before the Scottish referendum. Yes. How do you feel about that? Are you gutted that the Scots <laughs> chickened out? <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, no, it was... Uh, I, somebody told me we're the first country ever to reject their own independence. <laughs> oh, no. People laugh at it now, but before that, everything was getting thrown at us. Fucking Mick Jagger was involved, David Beckham, the Queen. Yeah. Then, when you read it the next day, the, David Cameron said the Queen was purring. Down the phone. I know. That was that. How, how do you purr? Queen <laughs> phoned up David Cameron. I went purr. Maybe on babe station, but I can't imagine the Queen. <laughs> it sounds like something you'd pay <laughs> at least £1.50 a <laughs> yeah. minute for. <laughs> yeah. So. You wouldn't phone up Frank the Wank for a purr. No. <laughs> no, you would not. <laughs> Well, listen, good luck with the book and good luck with the tour. Thank you. And, and hope your leg gets better, OK? Next time I'm on, we'll see what's happened. Right yeah, there. yeah, I bet you'll be in a neck brace Real one of those ones like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get the Thanks bridges, so everyone! <laughs> After the break, James Nesbitt and the one and only Taylor Swift will be here. See you in part two. <laughs> Welcome back.
The incredible Taylor Swift will be here soon. First, though, he's the twinkly-eyed hobbit with a nose for a good script and a face that's going to be all over your screens for the next few months. Put your hands together for the amazing James Nesbitt! <laughs> Welcome to Chatty Man. Pleasure to be here, finally. This, yeah, yeah, this is the first time you've been on. Yeah, I know. We did Friday night uh, project together. We did that. Then you saw me at a Lido. I did see the Lido. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Lido. Brockwell Lido. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't wave because I was holding both ends of my float. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me get you a drink. You're a bit of a wine connoisseur, aren't you? Um, well, I mean, I've watched this show for years <laughs> and I've never seen anything come out of this globe that I wouldn't drink, but uh, <laughs> uh, I like a bit of wine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what do you fancy? They've got Blue Nun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that is nice, isn't it? That is. No, Blue Nun's beautiful. That takes me um, <laughs> back to the summer of love in Port Rush, Northern Ireland. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Someone knowing where that is. <laughs> <laughs> I was brake man on the Big Dipper in the uh, in the roller coaster. That I was brake man on the Big Dipper in the amusement arcade in Portrush. No. Yeah, yeah, and I used to. Yeah, it was great. It, you know, One. <laughs> yeah, maybe you were the person I used to say to, because uh, all I had to do was kind of move the little lever when the uh, the cars came in at speed, and uh, I used to go, "Thanks very much, girls. Hope you enjoyed your ride." Oh. <laughs> Because sometimes they're arseholes on that ride, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> because I remember that, you know, when, the, you know, when that thing comes down over your head and it's like a neck brace? Yeah. And I said to the man, I said, this doesn't feel like it's on properly. And he went, eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need all of those boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's horrible, though, isn't it? I was yeah, cheating yeah. myself. Yeah, I wasn't used to, actually. And worse. <laughs> oh, Thank no. you. Blue none. Look at this. Where I come from, that's sophisticated stuff, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, lovely to see you. Yeah, you too. It's so good to have you here because you are, as they say, hot right now. Oh, I'd write now. That's very good. High now, brown <laughs> That's what we have to learn to say in Northern Ireland. Yeah, yeah. High now, brown Oh, you've got 23 tyres and pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all I can say yeah, yeah. in Northern Irish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, You are on telly a lot of the time, aren't you? You're, you're like Peter Andre in those Iceland adverts. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, what, what's he got frozen in well, his I've hand been, now? I've been away for a while. I've no. been away for a yeah. while, and I think uh, people were probably quite glad to see me away for a while. But I am no. about to. It's just that it's just so happens I'm in a couple of things coming out. Now. Yeah, the missing. Yeah, where which everyone already is saying it's the next broad church. Well, now, that's I, pressure, isn't it? Yeah, I mean the thing is I. You know, I, I like to think that we're slightly different from Broadchurch. Uh, uh, and to be fair, I was away, so I haven't seen Broadchurch, but here it's fantastic. Oh, it was brilliant. Astonishing. Yeah, yeah, really But no, really it's a good. show, it's a, it's a thriller, uh, like yeah. uh, I believe Broadchurch was. It's uh, a family, um, me, my wife, played by Frances O'Connor, and our little five-year-old boy. We go on f uh, holiday to northern France. On the first day, our car breaks down. Mm. We have to leave it in the garage. We go and stay in this sleepy little town called Chalon du Bois. We spend the day there. In the evening, the little boy says, Oh, look, I want to go for a swim at this outdoor pool, as you saw in her brochure. So I reluctantly take him. We have a lovely time at the pool. After we finish there, he says, Oh, I'm thirsty. So we go to the bar beside the pool where the World Cup final in 2006 is happening. As we get to the bar, France score against Brazil. So all the crowd go mad, and I'm sort of a little bit distracted. I've been holding his hand. I'm distracted by the goal. I stop holding his hand, and I look down, and he's gone. Yeah. And uh, that's the beginning of the story. Yeah. And then it spans... Uh, at two, there are two time zones from 2006 to 2014 when I've come back, because I think I've found a clue that everyone else missed. Well, we've got, we've got a clip here. This oh, is James. You didn't need to say any of that. Right. <laughs> you could have just gone through a clip. Oh, so you wasted valuable minutes where we could have just yeah. been chatting, drinking shit wine. It's what people are snobby about, yeah, Blue Nun. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I love it. Yeah, do you know what I say to those people? I say, sit and rotate. I do. <laughs> yeah, take yeah. yeah. the moral high ground. I, I like it. No. Well, let's have a look at a clip. This is James in the trailer for The Missing. You know, see what an afternoon in Chalon du Bois has to offer. Yeah. Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> My son was taken. I came back. It's been eight years now. 
What are the chances of finding him alive? There's nothing else there. No proof, no evidence. You need to stop this. You need to go home. I found something. Really good. Do you know, do you have a feeling as an actor when you're involved in something to go, this is going to be good, or are you like surprised, or C can you tell? Can you tell? It's it hard. I mean, you hope it's going to be good. No, you knew it was, it was a challenge and brilliant and, and, and not exploitative. It was kind of truthful writing about this awful thing, but also a really interesting thriller, but you never know. Yeah. I mean, you, you, do, you have no idea until it comes on whether or not people watch it or not, you know? Yeah. Uh, British TV at the minute is going through a purple patch, isn't it? Yeah. It is, isn't it? Don't you think so? We're making good TV at the minute. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've had, like, Broadchurch. George Clooney's in Downton. Yeah, I always like to think I'm the drinking woman's George Clooney. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as I said, George Clooney's coming over doing Downton. How do you feel about these Americans coming over? Do you get a bit UKIP about it, or are you like... <laughs> Well, I know there's a lot of them coming over and, and doing well, well, and that's fantastic, fantastic for a crew, but, you know, wait till they have to do a night shoot in Hardo Newtown or something and they'll soon get back oh. to Hollywood, you know? That's me finishing Hardo Newtown. <laughs> <laughs> because I'll need a career in Panto at some point, and I think Panto's quite big there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think, no, I think it's brilliant. I mean, I think it's... Uh, are no, we not saying American actors are pussies? No, no, no. <laughs> no, I mean, I think... Uh, I, and also, tapping your ass. Yeah, I know, but there's so many, um, but there's so many uh, British actors have gone out there, you know, Damien Lewis and Homeland, Andy Lincoln doing the biggest show in the world, Waking, uh, Walk the Walking Dead. Well, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the more competition, the better, they say. Yeah. And next month, uh, you're also going to be on Channel 4 doing Babylon. Oh, yeah. Which I love. I mean, it's built as a comedy drama, mm. but... It's not, is it? Because it's pretty intense, and it, there's some funny bits in it, yeah. but the subject matter's pretty... Well, it's really a look at the modern police force, and um, I play Richard Miller, who is the commissioner of what we call the London Police Force. God knows what it's meant to be, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sort of a, a, trying to explore the difficulty of policing nowadays mm. in London, because particularly because of... Um, because everyone's a newscaster now, because of camera phones and because yeah. of rolling news, the police are under constant scrutiny because, you know, everyone can either uh, take a photo of something or, you know, take sound bites or something yeah. and then they'll send them into the police. So it's, it's really about the world of kind of constant scrutiny and the difficulty of policing all that. Well, let's take an exclusive look at a clip from the first episode. This is you bawling out Johnson from Peep Show in the brilliant Babylon. I'm talking quietly now because I do not want to lose my temper. Well, I appreciate that. We put you up to deliver a line which backed a private company who, in my personal opinion, are a bunch of trouser-stuffing, arse-licking, penny-pinching clown fuckers, and they want to come after a slice of my pie, all right? Well, I think that's a bit harsh. Yeah, well... You were the face of this force. What if you go and someone makes the link? <laughs> that's not gonna happen, Richard. Oh, thanks for looking into your crystal fucking ball, but why don't you sit on it? Because here's the thing. I'm on 24-hour-a-day storm watch, yeah? I sleep like a cookie meerkat on an electric fence. That's me relaxing. I've got a map inside my head of all the trouble in the world, and you just popped up on the radar like Godzilla's hard on. And I will cut you loose and watch you burn if you ever, ever fuck me again, Charlie, all right? <laughs> Why do swear words sound scarier in a Northern Irish accent? <laughs> That's why I won't buy Nadine Coyle's new album. <laughs> trying to find a fucking darn <laughs> <laughs> um, Too much. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> well, I think um, I think there was a history of quite scary people in Northern <laughs> Ireland, including quite scary yeah. policemen over the years. Yeah. Uh, but they're very good writers, Sam and Jesse, who yeah. Peep Show and um, uh, Fresh Meat. They're sensational writers. They've got a real ear for um, the common tongue, I think. Yeah. Well, uh, listen, when's it on? It's, uh, well, it, uh, I don't think there's a definite TX. It's in the first week or two of November. 
People are going to be sick of the sight of me, and I apologise for that. So, no, no, but well, it's good stuff at, like this. You've, you've got a wee we thing you can, uh, you've got a wee thing you can touch in your hand and. Uh, Pardon. What? <laughs> As I said, that, I didn't know it was interactive. <laughs> 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 I'd rather you watch it than have a wank over it. What's this show become? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. James Nesbitt, everyone. <laughs> After the break, the amazing Taylor Swift will be chatting and performing. I'll see you in part three. <laughs> Welcome back. She'll be performing her smash it, shake it off later. But first, go nuts, go wild for the woman who's quite simply the biggest thing in pop right now. Give it up for the brilliant Taylor Swift! <laughs> Well, hello. Well, hello. <laughs> look at this. Look at look at all this. <laughs> oh, I just got blown a kiss by a lad. Oh, really? <laughs> Knock it this way, love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I share. I hope it's okay that I shared it. It's good. It's, it's good. Yeah. Oh, thanks, love. Oh, yeah. It's the 90s. Hey, let your hair down. Right, what can I get you to drink, my love? What are you having? Well, I heard that you love a cider. Who told you that? <laughs> I've got white ace, white cider, because I thought you loved it. Let's do that. Let's do that. OK, all yeah. right. It's really tasty. Yeah, tell me more about this, because this is not something I'm really that familiar with. Oh, well, that is full of good. It's like 99p. It's dead cheap. <laughs> <laughs> going all out. <laughs> yeah, and it is so lovely, and it's a delicacy here in Britain. <laughs> That's not true, is it? No, it's not true. <laughs> there you go. Well, this is going to be so lovely. Yeah, we're having a good time now. <laughs> well, so lovely to see you. How long's it been? I don't mind this at all. This is great. <laughs> it's really fruity, You're such it? a good host. Thank you. I always get the best alcohol in, don't I, for my mm. guests? <laughs> Now, last time we were here, we were chatting about David Dickinson's real deal. Give me some more. So you've just... <laughs> <laughs> so you've just bought a new flat in New York. Yes. Have you been filling it with antiques? That's what I want to know. Yeah, absolutely. Filling yeah. it with just antiques and cats. <laughs> and just... It's just the sexy single life for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And is it true Sir Ian McKellen used to have the place before you? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, there he is. Just, okay, so basically, um, I found this apartment online and was looking at all these different places in New York, and I had my realtor reach out to this kind of, uh, the, the realtor that represented this apartment, and we kept trying to, to get a showing and to see it. Yeah. And they kept putting us off or not responding, and so, <laughs> as I do, we just ob obsessively called, and we're just like, please, can I see it, can I see it, can I see it, can I see it, please, can I see it? <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, so, eventually, that... that worked and I got a showing to see it yeah. and so I'm kind of like walking in I'm like what is the deal and I fall in love with the place immediately and then I walk into the kitchen and Gandalf is sitting at the kitchen oh. counter <laughs> in his pajamas oh my god it was magnificent yeah I was like I'm buying it does so, he come with it yeah <laughs> so what happened now so when you get post you like redirect it to middle earth Yes. Yes, you go, like, you know, one, two, three, the Shire, the Middle Earth, Hobbit Land World. <laughs> Hobbitville. Well, well, I heard you'd moved in, and I know you like antiques, so I got you a present. No way. I so did. You are a I joy. Know. Look at this, and it is a proper antique. I was at a car boot sale in Hounslow Heath. <laughs> And I saw this, and I thought Taylor's coming on the show, and she look at that. It's actually attached to my hand. Okay. You're hurting me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Because she love that. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is just beautiful. I don't want any money for it, Taylor. Put your money away. <laughs> oh, 
nursing. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. I've missed you so much, and this proves that you truly understand me. Yes, yes, look. And, um, and that is white ace. That's drinking white ace as well. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Should I put it somewhere safe? Definitely somewhere no one else can take it. No, no, thank yeah. you. <laughs> it's great, though, isn't it? I... Do you really, genuinely, do you really like that? I want, it, I want it to be next to me so that, that no one can take it. Yeah, what Taylor wants, Taylor gets. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, look at his little face, Taylor! Yeah. yeah. And it follows you around the room like Mona Lisa, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean that's, that's an added benefit that I didn't think about. Yeah, That's yeah. good. Wherever you are in your flat, these cats are looking at you. <laughs> so what have you been up to? Well, just ducking and diving, wheeling and dealing, you know what I'm like. Just hustling. Hustling, you Every know. Every day. Doing a stand-up tour next year. You'll have to come along. <gasps> I will. Because last time you were on, you just released Red, yeah? Yes. Now, you're back with a new album, 1989. 1989. 1989. Yes. Because normally when a guest comes on, I get, like, a DVD or the CD, but I haven't, I haven't been allowed to have one. You're keeping it all under wraps, well, aren't you? Why won't you let me have one? Because it's not out yet. It yeah. comes out October 27th. But is it true you're being really secretive about it because you're worried about it getting, like... What's Do, the I word? Don't even want, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even... I don't trust technology. I don't want to talk about leaks. It freaks me out. I'll have a meltdown on the show. Really? Yes. You, I'm not going to steal... I mean, I'm not even No, I'm not thinking it. about you, no. but what about stuff that's recording us all the time? Oh! Yeah. Because you know Just... what? This isn't even a chat show. There's not even any film in those cameras. <laughs> that, we're actually a meth lab, That's like Breaking what... Bad. That's what I'm <laughs> Behind there, everyone's making crystal meth. Yeah. Uh, it's just a front. Mm -hmm. No one's even watching this. Yeah. You can go like this. No, no, one, no one cares. <laughs> I mean, what do you think of your CD? I mean, I would never burn your CD and sell it. I mean, listen, DVDs, now I would. <laughs> I mean, I would. They're my thing. I've got Police Academy 14, if anyone wants it. <laughs> An orifice and a gentleman. I've got <laughs> The Wolf of Old Compton Street. They're all knockoffs, but I would never do it to your CD. That's good to know that, it, that it stops at DVDs. Now, you said the album's influenced by 80s music, yeah? What sort of stuff? Like, uh, like, late 80s, like, uh, when Madonna put out, like, A Prayer. Oh, right, uh, yeah, we love that album, yeah. Like, um, what Peter Gabriel was doing, like, Fine Young Cannibals, She Drives Me Crazy. Yeah, Those yeah. are my favourite songs from the late 80s. But, you know, cos I was there, Taylor, and it sort of pisses me off, and goes, oh, I love the 80s, oh, my God, yeah, no, gender bending, electric, yeah. It was actually Jive Bunny. <laughs> now, you don't know Jive Bunny. But he was number one for fucking four years, by the way. <laughs> Do you remember it? Yeah. 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 Come on, everybody. C -c Come on, everybody. <laughs> this is it. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. This is the shit we had to listen to. <laughs> I was from the accident and was, oh, yeah, I love Duran Duran. No, it was Jive Bunny. <laughs> and no one knew who Jive Bunny was. He was like Banksy. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, you launched your album, yeah, by throwing a party for some of your fans at your house. Are five you... parties five, at five par houses. <laughs> Shit, are you mad? Yes. I basically, before I finished the album, I realised it was my favourite album I had ever done and I was so excited that I thought, I want to play this for fans first. I want them to hear it first. I want it to be in a really intimate situation. I want it to be kind of like a hangout. Um, and so... Basically, I just thought I want to call them the secret sessions. And so what we ended up doing was we contacted all these fans that I've been kind of stalking on the Internet. So they were contacted, they came to my house, and I don't think they realized. The first group didn't realize where they were. Yeah. I was hiding in the bedroom, yeah. spying on them. <laughs> um, you and... that man in Saw. Do you like games? <laughs> <laughs> Now, a few of your fans got a bit carried away. I mean, can I just look at this photo here? Where's that hand going? I mean, come on. That hand is, that hand is right here. That's fine. But his little pinky's going a little bit up. No, it was mm. like this. That's 
that's fine. You sure, yeah? I'm very sure. Well, I'm very prudish, you see, so I find that disgusting. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. And then look at this one. Who's photobombing you? That's my dad. Oh. <laughs> my dad is, is, um, his life passion is to photobomb. It's oh, all he, really? he dreams of it. It's all he wants to do. <laughs> He's constantly just leaping yeah. into photos. <laughs> People on their vacations. Yeah. No, yes. that's embarrassing. He likes to follow around my band at our stadium shows so that if fans ask for pictures with the band, he can... Oh my God. Like, yeah, it's wild. How were your parents with all these people in the house? Were they like touching, going around with a bin bag? Oh, are you up kidding? It's their dream. Really, they this love that. This is their oh, dream. Okay, okay. They get so excited about getting to go to things like this. My mom's like, we get to arrange a party, we're rearranging the furniture, we're gonna get put, put pillows on the floor. <laughs> and my dad gets to wander around talking to people, telling stories about when I was a kid. Oh no, no one wants to people, that. To people who are like loving hearing it. And they're lapping it up all these. Yes, oh, yeah. He, so they're as happy as can be. Are they looking after your cats? Yes, they are. Oh, that's good, good. It's, it, it's kind of good, but they've only been able to cat sit for me one time before. That was the first time I asked them to. And um, something a little weird happened. No, what happened? Um, they got a professional photo shoot done of my cat. <laughs> no way. Yes. Don't tell me as your dad photobombed that as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to take a break there, my love. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Don't go anywhere, because after the break, me and Taylor will be shaking it off all over the studio. See you in part four! <laughs> Welcome back to part four. Look who's still here. It's only Taylor Blooming Swift. <laughs> Before the break, we're talking about your new album, 1989. You're performing the first single, Shake It Off, Shake It Off. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you know what? The song is a great F you to the haters, isn't it? But like a joyful one. Yeah. And I wanted to write a song that would make people n not feel victimized when they sang it. No. Like, I didn't want it to f come from a place of like, why are you doing this to me? I feel so defeated and sad. Why are you making me feel this way? I wanted to be like, okay, you're irritated that, that I'm just being myself. You're going to talk about me because I'm being myself. You're going to make things up about me for being myself. I'm just going to be myself more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's right. Right. yeah good for you. And the sad thing is, they want you to be dejected and feel sad and miserable because they're not happy in themselves, are they, really? Oh, oh my well, God, yeah. look at me with the white ace. I'm like saying, hey, and well, another I... thing. <laughs> Suck him, Taylor. We'll go out later. We'll talk about yeah. it. You give me a call. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, like they have a hole inside of themselves. Yeah. yeah. And they fill it with time yeah, to sing that we're ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. They don't mean it though. They say like they hate their lives. Yeah, Taylor. They hate themselves. Oh, loser. <laughs> Having a play, doing a play with you on it. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like having a play. It's a play. The glasses were so jeez. I know, I know. I thought it all by myself. I know. You just I'm on fire today. I am. <laughs> I'm on fire. Let's have a look at it. This is Taylor in the brilliant. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> Finger dance. Show me how you do that finger okay, dance. Okay, so it's called finger tutting, and the guy who finger tutting, who, yeah, finger tutting, mm. and it's the guy who who is in the video with me. His name is Peanut, and he's amazing at the finger tutting. Mm. You just go, you go, this, 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 this. Oh, that's beautiful. And I'm then not... I try to do it fast, and I'm like, yeah. I'm not saying dirty things to deaf people, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. 
He's not doing all this, and everyone's like, I'm going to disgust him. <laughs> Turn it over, he's being filthy. <laughs> Because I want to do body popping, because I can do that one bit. You know where you touch your body and you go back like that? <laughs> Ooh. But do you know what? I love that ribbon dancing one. Thank because you. That's you... my passion. I, I, you, do, you don't know this, but I was actually the 1989 Northampton ribbon dancing champion. Don't lie about things like no, that. I was. I've got a photo and everything. I was. <gasps> oh, I know. I've got it here. <laughs> Look, you see, and do you know what? Whenever I look back at that 1989, I can still remember. I, remember, I can still remember. You remember your starting pose is like this. Lovely. Are we doing this? <laughs> we need music. Listen, I won. I was champion. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I... <laughs> Talk to them. You've ruined everything now. I know, I know. <laughs> well, listen, do you know what? Sometimes, whenever I hear this music, yeah, I can still <clears> remember <throat> the routine, Taylor, honestly. I'm not as thick as you. <laughs> just, just fake it. <laughs> now, you're going to perform Shake It Off for us now. After a quick breather. <laughs> yeah. and you go and get ready. I'm going to go and lie down. You feel free to run out. <laughs> and perform behind me if you want. You really want me to perform. You do not really want me to come up. I mean, I, I, mean, I kind of do, but I, I understand if you're too tired. I'm going to get... I will get tasered if I approach you with one of these as you're singing. <laughs> <laughs> I will let you do what you do so well. You perform. Shake it off. Taylor Swift, everyone! <laughs> And the one and only Naomi Campbell. But now we've shook it off. It's Taylor Swift! <laughs>
shake, shake, shake. Yeah.